All right, so now that we're in the back of the ambulance, we're transporting the patient to the hospital, I'm gonna go ahead and do my rapid head and toe assessment now. So I'm gonna go ahead and observe the head, look for decap EQS, feel for tick. I'm gonna go ahead and look for raccoon eyes, look for battle signs, looking for CSF or blood in the nose or the ears. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that there's no missing or false teeth in the airway. Uh, I already checked the, the neck <clears throat> uh, before we put the C-collar on and we loaded up the patient. So I'm gonna then go ahead and move down to the chest. So for the chest, I'm gonna look for a decap ETS, I'm gonna feel for tick. I'm gonna look for a flailed chest, uh, look for any kind of sucking chest wounds or anything like that. Once again, obviously this patient will be trauma naked uh, while we're doing this assessment. I'm gonna then move down to the uh, abdominal region. I'm gonna go ahead and palpate the abdomen. Rolling all four quadrants, feeling for Dr. Germ. I'm then gonna move down to the pelvis, pushing down and in, uh, feeling for any kind of tick, looking for decap ETLS. Uh, I'm also looking for any kind of genital bleeding. Uh, I'm looking for uh, priapism in males, uh, or any incontinence or any of that matter. <clears throat> Next, I'm gonna move down to the lower extremities. I'm gonna be looking for decap PTLS. I'm feeling for tick. I'm gonna use an offset pressure in the lower extremities. Feeling for that tick. I'm gonna go ahead and get my PMSCs on my feet. I'm gonna go ahead and move up to the upper, upper extremities. Uh, doing offset pressure, feeling for tick. Also looking for decap PTLS and tick. I'm gonna look at the hands, go ahead and get my uh, PMSCs there, my pulses, uh, motor sensory, as well as my cap repo. Now, uh, after I'm done with this, <clears throat> I'm then gonna go ahead, get the patient's vital signs, and I reassess her every five minutes.